There we go, the charger LED is on. Now it's off. Turning much harder now. Oh no, 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 I killed the phone. Did you say you killed the phone? No, I... Did you? Damn it, Mehdi. How much do we have to pay for your f***-ups? I was just making a video. all for your stupid videos and for what? Read comments all day and giggle? $500 is a lot of money. Who's gonna pay for that? Your comments? It's probably nothing. I'll fix it myself. Yeah, yeah. It will end up in the pile of things to be fixed. Don't you think I know your routine by now? Go! What? Since I don't have a phone anymore, I borrowed an old iPhone from my beloved mother-in-law. And I'm gonna try to charge this one. Now I have to cut the charger cable again and solder these to the output of my regulator. Let's start cranking. It's not charging. Ah, what's wrong? If you need your hands free to use your phone, you can use your kit. Here you go, crank away. Somebody said I should use a spoon to shave. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Obviously you can't use a spoon to shave. Well, not with that attitude. You have to sharpen it first. I like to use my angle grinder to sharpen the spoon. Using the angle grinder creates a lot of hot sparks, so you should always know where your sparks are flying to, and always wear safety goggles. And forget about the spoon, I'm sure one of you can make a sharper spoon. If I probe the input A- <laughs> But to mention is that the rectifier output is only DC between its power and ground output, not reference to the input wires. So I have to move the probe ground to the rectifier output ground, which is, I think, this- <laughs> you might want to turn things off before moving things around to avoid shorts. I connect the capacitor to a cable that connects 120 volts to the capacitor through a push button. Super dangerous, don't try it at home. Let me demonstrate. If I plug it into the <laughs> First short the AA battery and see how much current it can deliver. 9.6 amps. Now let's short the super cap. Of course the resistance of this wire is gonna limit the current through the super cap. I totally burned my finger. Always wear safety gloves to protect your fingers and don't try this at home. Let me see if I can make some arcs. Always wear safety goggles when dealing with very bright arcs. Let's try it again. Nice, look at that. Nice. Am I on fire? I've made two coils, one for primary and one for secondary. And as for my AC power source, I'll plug my primary into the 120 volt AC power line. Don't plug your artworks in 120 volt AC. It's too dangerous and low frequency. Use my super caps for super power. Let's measure the current too. Oh, it's not making a good contact. This is bullshit. It's as if the internet is wrong. I was running 313 amps through it and it didn't even move. How much current do I need? A bazillion amps for you. to check my body tolerance, I set the output to minimum. At zero volts, it's pretty- yeah! Oh f I set it to maximum. It's the other way. What the hell, man? Well, anyways, let's set it up. I think it's on. There, it's going. Whee! Oh, scared me. Ow! Oh, ah, okay, let's try again. Jeez. Okay, let me turn on my cell phone. The touch screen doesn't work. It's 
because of the radiation. You have to do it differently. Okay, cell phone. 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 YouTube. Okay, cell phone. Okay, cell phone. Okay, cell phone. Play Bach music. I don't want Bach music. Okay, cell phone. Play Tchaikovsky music. Okay, cell phone. Play Tchaikovsky nutcracker. So don't do this at home. Now we'll have high voltage. Just <laughs> what the hell? Did I short something? Okay, retry. So don't do this at home. Now, as soon as I turn on this, <laughs> what the? F Ow! One of these days. And here is my handicraft. Let's measure and see where we are. <laughs> it's higher. I made my own taser back in my old video. The arcs can jump. What? You don't bring your finger close to a stun gun when it's running. Everyone can build something like this or even stronger, but it might not be legal everywhere. Let's check. actually follow the standards. So if she was in fact electrocuted, then why? Oh, maybe she dropped the wall adapter in the water, completely submerged it and then plugged it in. Oh. So I guess this, <laughs> oh, this is pretty dead. See, soapy water is much more conductive than regular water. It shorts everything together and with everything soaked, it just takes the electricity straight from the contacts to your fingers. And with you standing in the top close to the earth, it runs through your body to earth and can shock you. But I don't think that's what happened either. She was an intelligent girl. She wouldn't just pick up a fully soaked wall adapter and plug it into the power. Might be something else. Okay. Slippery. If I could take it off. Ow! box. The tip of the gun here simulates a human finger. <laughs> Always be careful with your tools. Now, they usually zap a completely assembled unit. But sometimes it's also beneficial to zap a bare board like this one and see what happens on the actual board. Never hold the board you're zapping with your hand because the ESD will jump to your body through the board. I have a solution that will make you work out for dear life. It's called Workout of Die. It's a simple device. It's a belt that you tie around your belly with a tiny device that senses your motion. As long as you move, you're okay. But if you stop for any reason, it'll zap you like a mother You will move no matter what or else you will feel the pain. The device may often pulse trigger. The belt is very hard to open. It's made of very durable material resistance to sharp objects and it cannot be cut. Oh. So you will run until the batteries die or you die. Just kidding, we have never had failed batteries. Please don't hurt anyone, including yourself. The device is very simple. It runs on two AA or triple A batteries and has two electrodes on the bottom and turns on with a switch. Now if you don't move, it says I made this simple circuit and I'll plug it in. Now the circuit is hot and the voltage is on the Something you must never forget is that some capacitors like electrolytic ones are polarized and you must never connect them backwards or they will blow up. Now I have replaced the capacitor on my circuit and I'll plug it in. In addition to polarity, the capacitors must be rated properly to be able to handle the voltage across them, or they will blow up, obviously for you. To measure the 120 volt AC, I put the meter on AC, and I measure the voltage. Oh my god! Sometimes when you're probing a line, you might touch the probes, but never forget about the voltage on the probes. And each pair is attached to one of these cables, which we can plug them into the wall power plug.
Please join me for the first time to hear how it sounds. And one, two, three, four. It definitely made me sound like a rock star, although it feels more like an electric chair than a guitar. Okay, let me show you how well it works. First, without the anti pair. Some under. If I can just pass these cables under the table here. Always finish your wiring before connecting to your power supply. Now instead I'm gonna use my power limited supply up here that will drive this pump that's made of this DC brushed motor here and it's gonna run fluid into the cylinder back here that will move it around. Now I enable the power supply. Always double check your connections. The hell? The hell? Why bad things happen to good people? Go! Go! Sheer luck! Thanks to my flimsy wire connections to the transformer that fell off quickly, I only sustained some third degree burns. My stupid long sparklers made my structure top heavy, which of all people fell right on top of me. I leave a bunch of safety tips on my website, but such experiments are not worth dying for, so don't do it. It's a pity though, I thought I could share my artistic side with you. I forgot to unplug the damn thing. It definitely made me behave like a rock star though. Makes me think of the similarities. Now if I shove the magnet into the coil, I see that the voltage is generated. And the faster I go, the higher the amplitude, like this. What the f are you doing? What? Just close the door next time. What? But the blades are broken. If I break two opposite blades, then it will balance. Wrong too. There you go. Good as new. And I power it from my trusty power supply, and voila, good as new. Now to improve the airflow, it's better to raise the <laughs> Don't put your hand in a running fan. 